Hi everyone, it's Artis from Man Carbony. It's our next job. So here we're going to be doing little carbony jobs such as new new post, handrail, spindles, uh, cut a door here. Then we're doing small bespoke kitchen in here. Um, and, and general carpentry bits. I hope you will be enjoying this and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Hi, it's Artis again. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, the first job we always do is actually draw everything on a wall. Either it's a wardrobe or if, especially if it's like angled wardrobe. Uh, with the kitchen is the same. We draw everything on a uh, walls to make sure everything will fit. And then we just uh, start cutting. Um, I know I haven't showed in previous videos that we do it, but I thought this time I'll do it. Um, unless it's a very simple uh, unit or kitchen to do where you don't really need uh, and you've got enough room. But where it's like this, where it's enclosed, you don't have any open ends um, and you've got a um, dishwasher, washing machine, etc. to do. You've got um, we can going to have pull of bins here, I think. Uh, so you need to bear all those things in mind. Uh, so we can't, we don't have too much of a moment. Uh, also we've got fridge, but if there is a problem, we can lose it on a unit itself, rather than you know where the appliance is going. So that, that's why, that's the pros of having this power kitchen. Uh, and with prices coming up these time these days on standard kitchens, I think it's uh, becoming more more affordable. To be fair, so I hope you join it, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hi everyone, it's Artist from Main Carpentry. Just catch up on a job, and then now I'm in a, on a stage where I'm going to start fitting these units in. So what I got left to do is cut support for the backs. Um, we've got only one problem: this wall we can't fix through because it had damp issues and it's been tanked. So what we're going to try to do is fix all these together there's one top unit and sort of wedge it in that space as as good as we can because yeah we can't obviously drill through really to prevent it from you know getting wet in the future if there is a if, if there is that problem i think it's all but you know we're not sure it wasn't done by us but um by a customer and the customer dealt with it and he asked us not to fix, so I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully it'll be fine. We're gonna try to stick it. So we're gonna put bars and we're gonna try to stick to the board and obviously fix these together. And then this 
part we can fix, that's fine. There's no problem, so that should be fine. So I'm hoping that that unit will lock all others in once it's in a position, that's the plan. Um, so once uh, the in and each bag flyover unit and then two uh, wall hung units. I haven't done them yet because obviously I want to know exact measurement. I don't want to make it and then recut it again. So I'm going to place, start from corner, walk my way back as I usually do. Then we've got a space there for a wine cooler. And then we're going to start again from that corner and go that way. So I always start from corner. Maybe someone else doesn't, but I find it is a better way because, you know, you could run into issues by not having enough space because corners quite often aren't square and you can even measure but if if the measurement goes out that way out of square then you know you could end up with especially with this sort of size unit you could end up hitting the wall and it might not be enough to house appliances whatever you've got to house in so hence why I choose to go from the corner and if anything I lose on on end panel if, if that's the case so um, I hope you'll be enjoying it and I'll catch up in a bit Artist from Man Carpentry, just another on job. So we're pretty much done with the units. Uh, we got uh, just wall units to put on. I ran into problem yesterday 
by fixing on the wall, which which is why I'm not a fan of fixing wall units when it's been dot and dad or dry lined. So, which means that you've got a board stuck with adhesive, and if you are unlucky like I was, then you've got no adhesive behind the spots where you need to put your fixing. So what I had to do, so what happens if this gets crushed by the screw, A, you can't, what would happen, it wouldn't be away enough so your hook can hook on, like this hook, so it wouldn't be enough, so, and also it just won't be strong enough because it will crush into the board, which happened there yesterday, so what I did, I filled it with, with drywall adhesive, those holes and hopefully that should stop it from going in because I've cleaned it all out and I've put it all full with the adhesive both sides so I get a good fixing and so I hope someone can use that method as well if they come across the problem I had so that is now fully solid to the wall to the wall it's been stuck to so that shouldn't be a problem anymore so as you can see, we've done all the units. So next thing for me is start framing it. That will be done in uh, the thickness of these cabinets. So 38 mil frame all the way. And that also allows for us to fit end panels in MDF on the side and then frame on the top to cover the edge. That's my next job. I have end panels here as well, end panel, end panel, end panel. And with these um, flyovers, depending on what fridge, but it varies from about one meter 74, I think, or 73, all the way to 186. So it's a big difference, but what we tend to do if we've got a room, we're trying to do the maximum um, size because you don't know, you know, if it breaks or whatnot, what you're gonna get next, you know. It could be that you get a, um, a smaller one or, you know, middle measurements, because I've, I've looked, when I looked up online, which you can do, by the way, um, there were two sizes, one and four, or one and three, depending on how they write in which um, specifications then there's one which was 181 or 182 and then there's one which is 186 or 1855 or something like that so what we have allowed we have allowed 100 uh, 189 now so which gives about 30 millimeters gap and that's what we kept here as well about 25 millimeters gap so it's 25 all around, because don't forget you need to have airflow. Um, otherwise it could burn out. That's the thing you need to think about as well when you do built-in uh, units or built-in, you know, built around fridges and stuff. You need to have an airflow. So that's that. So kitchen is coming along. It's all units in place. This either be dishwasher or washing machine. So these two spaces are for, for, for either one. So I don't know what uh, customer will choose to have. It is coming along. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch up here in a bit.